Hey, I'm Jessica, and I am the creator of What You Can Do. This week, we had the privilege of sitting down with Rupert Schofield, the president and CEO of Finca, and speaking with him about his new book, The Social Entrepreneur's Handbook. If you think this might be the book for you, check out part two of our interview. Who do you feel would benefit from reading this book? Well, you know, um, I was a child of the 60s, you know, and uh, I have children of my own uh, who have gotten out of college recently, and I guess I was you know, primarily thinking about them. You know, when I got out of college, I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. I just sort of got lucky. You know, I went into the Peace Corps, frankly, because my other choice was to go to Southeast Asia and Vietnam. <laughs> so that was sort of a no-brainer. Um, but, uh, you know, I sort of found myself in work and trying to help other people and then taking on a huge difficult problem like global poverty. And so I, you know, I've met a lot of people uh, coming out of college or business school or whatever, and often these are kids of the people I went to school with at Brown, and they call me up and they say, you know, I want to be a social entrepreneur, or I want to go into microfinance, how do I do it, how do I get started, and what are the steps after that? So I thought I would write kind of a road map, really, for, mainly for that audience of, you know, how you could get started in this field, how you could acquire the skills you're going to need and the experience to really make a difference in the world. And of course, uh, then I got to thinking, well, it's not just for those people, because there's also people who are mid-career, could be lawyers, business people, bankers, whatever, and for some reason they've just decided, you know, I'm, I'm missing something, you know, I want to give back, or I want to have an impact on, on these huge problems in the world. And so, uh, you know, this is also for them. It's telling them that, hey, there are these opportunities out there. You can join an existing social enterprise. If you have the ambition and the drive, uh, you can start your own. What advice would you give a budding social entrepreneur who has a great idea but isn't sure whether it could be a full-fledged business? Well, I think, uh, you know, I'm a great believer in pilots, you know, mm. and in Finca, you know, we, we, we came up with this idea we call village banking, which was a, you know, a credit system based on, basically on, you know, peer uh, lending in the communities. People would cross guarantee each other's loans because they didn't have collateral or anything else they could put up as a guarantee. Um, and we started it with our own funds. We had a consulting firm and we said, you know, we'd been working for the World Bank and the UN and so forth and, you know, traveling around the world, dining out in 20 different languages, having an exciting life, but, but the projects we were working on weren't really helping the same kinds of people that I was working with in the Peace Corps, you know, the, the really poor people, the peasant farmers, the poor women in the markets and so forth. And so uh, we started to experiment on a small level in Bolivia, and Mexico, and Costa Rica. We did little pilot projects, and they worked so fantastically well that it was actually relatively easy, you know, once we had demonstrated, the, as we call it, the proof of concept that, hey, this thing really works. This is really helping people. People are paying back their loans. It was not difficult to attract other human and financial resources to the effort. And then the challenge becomes, how do you manage it? How do you manage it when you start to succeed? If you want to find out how to get involved with Finca International, please visit finca.org. If you want to find out more about Rupert Schofield, please visit rupertschofield.com. And if you're looking for the book, The Social Entrepreneur's Handbook, please visit your local bookstore or amazon.com. Everybody here at What You Can Do would like to thank Rupert for coming and speaking with us, and we'd also like to thank you for watching.